In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create social media concept slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I've created this uh, magnet and then I've added this lightning bolt. And then what are the required icons I have added here? Added here. So depending on your requirement, you can uh, add your own icons. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert and I'm going to uh, create a magnet for that. Go to shapes and then from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangles top corner rounded draw this one maybe this much size and you can see here the two orange point the top orange point just drag this inside so it becomes like this shape outline make it no outline align center align middle so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size maybe if you want this much size then again you need to go and align it and then press ctrl d to duplicate and give some other color and hold the shift key and reduce the size and i'm going to put it here and from this side also i'm going to reduce the size you can see here and then make sure that it is properly aligned and let me just reduce it further and i think this is okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract this the dark blue color one from the light one so i'm just going to select the first one the bigger one and then select this go to merge shape and say subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this and then i'm going to cut this one go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle cover only the one part and select this one more shape you can see here i can fragment or i can go and click on intersect so i end up getting a shape something like this shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate go to rotate and flip horizontal and put it here now it's time to change the color so this one i'm going to format shape fill you can give this color the red and then here i'm going to give some blue and then select both of this press ctrl g to group it rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and then i'm going to give a 3d shape for that right mouse click go to format shape go to the text effects sorry the shape effects here and then go to the 3d rotation and from the preset i'm going to choose this one which is the perspective this one you can see here perspective below and then go to the 3d format the depth increase the depth so you can see here this is giving you the 3d effect here all right and then depending on your requirement you can just choose the lighting effect here all right you can see here the lighting effect has been selected now select this one and hold the alt and the right arrow key and rotate it like this and i'm just going to place it here and depending on your requirement you can rotate as much as possible or you can just rotate maybe this much all right you can see here then i'm going to insert some more shapes which is uh, this one you can see in the basic shape the lighting lightning bolt so just draw some lightning bolt here all right you can see here some bolt like this and give some different color orange maybe shape outline maybe no outline and then rotate it then if you want two or three depending on your requirement you can add this one so i'm just going to add only two all right then you can add the icons depending on your requirement there are two ways you can add the icons you can go to insert and click the icons so if you're using the latest version of powerpoint then you can see all these icons you can just select the required icons and uh, download it or you can go to one more uh, site where it is called the pitchin and that through that also you can just select all the 
you can see here all the icons are there so which uh, you way you feel easy you can just download that one so it's very easy i just need to drag and drop like this all right so all that icons which i want i'm going to download from this so you can see here i have downloaded all these icons and then i'm going to place it uh, depending on my requirement some here one side and some uh, another side so quickly you need to just add it or just place it you can see here i'm just going to put randomly some icons here and there all right and then i'm going to add few here you can see here quickly we need to add or just place it so you can see here So once this is done what we need to do is we need to do the animation part so let me just put at the right position maybe this will go here all right so you can see here i have put that in the right position let me just go to the view remove the guides and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this magnet and i'm going to add the animation so let me just close this one go to the animation animation pane add animation i'm going to select fly in fly in make it from bottom left it comes something like this and if you want to make it more faster double click this one you can go to timings and you can make it 0.3 also if you want it comes very fast and then this two lightning bolt i'm going to add the animation which is go to more entrance effect and i'm going to select this as a uh, random bars all right click ok and this should happen after previous all right and this one should be with previous and again if you want to make it more faster also you can go to effects timings and i'm going to make it maybe 0 0.2 it comes very fast and once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold the shift key and select all the icons you can see here i'm just selecting the shift key and selecting all the icons one by one all right if the icons are not selected you can select it again later not a problem so let me just select these icons also all right and then add animation go to more entrance effects again i'm going to select fly in and fly in i'm going to select the option which is from this one from top right all right and some icons are not selected you can see here one two three four five so these icons also we need to select it manually okay so some icons which was not selected this one let me just add the animation or i can just select this one click on animation painter it comes like that okay and some more are there which we need to identify and do the animation so if you see here when i click it comes and then it comes like this all right 